Hello everyone, it's Bjarke Takes here. Today we are going to create a skyscraper with module system in ArchiCAD. Basically, we have learned the module system in the previous video with you. And we are going to continue from there. We used the module system for a different purpose in the tutorial. But in this tutorial, we are going to use that for a skyscraper and it's important i will show you why you have to use the module system and what are the differences with the module system and pl and file in order to use the hot thing system in archicad all right let's get started all right here we are in our blank file and we are going to create a basic floor plan for this tutorial let's go to slab tool change the structure type to simple and uh, let's create a rectangle like this it's millimeter right now let's change it to working units millimeter to centimeter i like working centimeters and now basically before placing our walls i prefer using simple line like this and I'm going to make a diamond shape maybe and maybe there will be another uh, center part for building after that I'm going to create a mirror Let's move to there and I'm going to mirror from here. Let's just delete these sections. Let's click delete. Let's move to here. And yeah, now maybe we can move to like that and create a symmetry like this. This will be our main floor type and after that i will hit the alt pick up this uh, slab and hit the space and click center now we can delete all of the lines and i'm going to create the curtain wall change the settings for the scheme let's just hit this clear pattern and for the width it's going to be 100 centimeters and it's going to be fixed sizes height is not important let's make this four meters and that's it this is not going to be deleted panel this is going to be main panel a glass and partition maybe malian or transom is up to you and let's go with the transom it's going to be better for the visual style and it's okay we can use this let's click ok and hit the space click inside that's all this is our main building but the height is not well enough because this is three meters um it's not well enough for uh, for a skyscraper like this after that let's just click this insert above it's going to be duplicate this height and that's it after this part let's select the curtain wall and let's change the height to 400 centimeters now we are going to duplicate this floor plan along the entire levels from the control plus u of course we are not going to do this because we are going to create a module why we are going to use module because let's presume that we have 20 floors and we are going to change something different maybe main shape maybe we are going to change the core type at something different etc etc so in this situation you have to fix all of the plans one by one 
it's very time consuming. Therefore, we are going to use the hot thing and module system. So how we are going to do that in order to save your building or floor plan or anything, you will go to floor plan. You can go to floor plan. You can do that in the 3D window. First, you have to select which part is going to be hot thing. Let's say that you are going to use the 3D, but you can select here and go to file external content and you can select save selection as module or you can use the marquee tool and create a rectangle like this and same as before you can go to uh, save selection as module is going to be is going to go to the same place but after this you can save your hot link like this let's click the save selection as module and we have located our folder and we can change our file name i'm going to call this floor plan and we have a file type right here we have two options module file and archicad file what are the differences the module file does not contain any 2d elements into the data it's going to be only included your walls uh, shells whatever you see with the design part and you won't be able to see uh, anything under the document part and either the viewpoint so in order to create a skyscraper uh, you must use the module file because you're, you are going to create your dimensions viewpoints sections anything you are going to use this this main file in the previous lesson we used the uh, PR and file because uh, it's going to be it's, it was something different we only used the, uh, this main file as master plan and we have worked the floor plan in different architect files and we just imported them as module PR and file so it was uh, it was the best method for the multi uh, multi building uh, multi level building for your project it was better so for this tutorial we are going to use the module file uh, mod file and since our floor plan is on the zero point zero core, uh, zero level we can use replace section with this hot link module file if not uh, if our file was if our uh, floor plan is on the different level uh, such as on the pre like previous tutorial we won't uh, check this replace selection we uh, we will do that manually but in this file we will we can click this replace selection and use it's going to be calculated and placed automatically let's click the same and as you can see it's creating the it's created the uh, your hot thing and it's way more faster than before because if you would have used the pn and file instead of the uh, module file uh, you actually the nib archet file would be opened automatically and that will that will consume time for your project uh, a kind of time consuming all right let's select our floor floor and you will see uh this a bit a little, a little different from a uh, simple slab if we click slab you will see black dust around the corner and this hot link module uh, does not contain that black dust because this is a uh, module file you can just right click it and see from the hot link is a hot link you can uh, determine the differences 
and three lines uh, which is the hot thing and which is not now uh, in the 3d we will see that by the way if you want to move something you can't do that because it's locked if you want to move this uh, module you will just click the suspend group and you can move but you cannot move separately uh, because it uh, will break your hotlink file and it's not logical for archicad if you are going to change something in your module file you can right click and click hotlink module and you can just click edit module in separate archicad that's it anyway now let's go to 3d window and hit control plus u click elevate set home uh, sorry by elevation and this input here 400 centimeters and test it it's creating right now and the benefit of using this if we change the main shape of the building it will be way more easier I will show you let's say that I'm going to uh, place something inside as an interior and I will reduce this part to do it I will select any uh, any hot thing from them right click click hot thing module and click this edit module system now uh, any architect instance are opening let's wait a little all right here we are in a different architect file uh, you can see the name is floor plan it's the module it was the module name and you can see it's basic slab and we can edit this now for the demonstration purpose i'm going to create something inside maybe something like this this is part this part is going to be core and these parts uh, will be different places and maybe we can select this edge turn this onto a curve for designing purpose and let's just fix the slab with the same method and this is it on the 3d we will see something like this to save this as we did before we can select the building or we can just use the marquee tool this time this will work a kind of different we won't be able to save this file as a module we are just going to hit the save from here but do not forget to make a marquee if you don't make a marquee selection it won't save your file will be empty after uh, creating a marquee selection with uh, uh, all floors and going to save file and after you refresh your file main file your file will be automatically updated you can refresh update your module file from here i will show you once again i'm going to create another wall to here go to marquee create a rectangle selection and after that i'm going to hit the save that's it we will go to our main file and think and update you will see our new wall will be updated will be placed upon this slab and it will be the same in the all of your stories 
and this is how you can see on the 3d view and that's it this is how you can use the module system in ArchiCAD and how you can use the uh, refresh and updating system as a hot thing file i hope you have enjoyed with this tutorial as me if so please hit the like button and do not forget to hit the subscribe if you want to see similar tutorials like this and if you are serious about learning ArchiCAD you can go to my patreon page from there i will be waiting for you all right thank you for watching until next time have a nice day bye